What is up guys, Winter Kills here. Welcome back to a brand new open game state video, the first one of 2018. I wanted just to uh, make a video so I could have, like bring everybody up to speed on like what's been going on uh, with what are my future plans basically. So with a lot of your guys' help uh, on some of the previous videos that I posted, which are two dual videos, if you haven't seen those yet, you can go check them out. Me playing in both the videos against Spiral, me playing Mermeld in both videos. It's basically like two different matches of the same matchup. You can check them out. They'll be one will one will be annotated at the end of the video if you want to go check that out. Uh, feel free to if you haven't seen it yet. Um, but in that video, I was playing like an ancient dinosaur of a build, and it was just not good. Um, and from when Links had come out. Uh, I always thought they'd never mend well with Mermails, but obviously things have changed a lot. Firewall Dragon. I never really fully understood what Firewall Dragon was able to do, uh, let alone do in Mermail um, before, like, last week. Uh, you guys have suggested Phoenix Flare X, his channel. Some of his older Mermail videos from, I think, last year, like October or something, or November. Um really just blew my mind like how the the deck could play with these newer link monsters like proxy dragon gaia saber um you know a deco talker obviously but like firewall dragon in that deck is just absolutely nutty um which is why i ended up actually spending some money picking up two firewall dragons and some other link monsters that i needed to get my hands on uh just so i could help build this deck because i want to build it i want to rebuild mermails and I'm in the process of rebuilding Mermails. Um, I'm just waiting on two cards, which is a Lind and a Sphere. I had to order those today, actually, because I forgot to order them a while back because I thought I had them. I looked today, didn't have them. Um, and I don't feel like looking through any more cards because um, I just don't think I have them. I think I might have gotten rid of them a while ago, thinking, like, oh, I'll probably never play them again, so just get rid of them. If I need to pick them up again, they'll be cheap. And now I have to pick them up again, so... Hindsight is twenty twenty. Probably shouldn't have got rid of it, uh, but I ended up doing it anyways. So, um, not too concerned about it though. I do have them coming on the way, uh, so I can't wait for those to get here. But like I said, I did pick up some cards, and I'm in the works of making a new build. I'm gonna show you guys that new build because I made a dueling book account just so I'd have somewhere to like. Because I wanted to show you guys the list because I don't have the deck in physical form yet. It's in shambles right now. Um, I gotta get, once I get all the cards in, I'm gonna build the deck and then test it before I record anything with it because the first video that I record with it could be an absolute doozy because there's so many new combos that I have to learn and stuff. Uh, it probably wouldn't be a pretty sight no matter, no matter what I was playing against. Um, but this is the list. Um, this is the list. Uh, as of now, this is like pre, pre alpha if I had to give a, uh, meaning to this like what this is in the grand scheme of things this is like very very beginning state uh, obviously consists of three megalo three abysteus abysteus whatever you want to call them uh pike turge and mander double gunned uh one lind and one osia uh, for the the uh, bahamut shark combo we'll come back to this later uh three prince two dragoons Two marksmen and one infantry. I've been running two infantry and one marksman in the past, but it seems like a lot of people's builds are running this uh, now. Um, Deep Sea Diva, uh, Moulin Glacier, the Elemental Swag Lord, uh, and then you got two Gamma Seals. Uh, I didn't really know what else to put in because like I don't have uh, Ghost Ash. That's why you see the Valors in here and the the one uh, Ogre. I don't think Valors too bad. Um, it does target. Um, so I guess it's not that great against Spiral in certain cases. Um, if they have their field spell, I think, uh, Spiral Resort. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have, uh, Ghost Ash, so I have to work with what I got. Uh, whether or not it's the perfect pick, I'm not too concerned. Um, they're just in here just to have something. You know, if I have to go second, I have some sort of defenses in my hands. Um to stop any sort of shenanigans. We see double uh, Gamma Seal to clear big problem cards, big boys on the field. Uh, double Aqua Spirit to set up uh, Moulin Glacia plays, make rank fours, etc, etc. Uh, the Hand Trap lineup, which is the Maxi, Double Valor, and the One Ghost. So we're going to put this guy over here. 
the one ofs, and then for spells, three more A, uh, two twin, one soul charge, one one for one, one abyss sphere because we're playing the land, and one solemn warning. Uh, for extra, double firewall, double Mastar boy, uh, one decode, one Gaia, one proxy dragon, uh, one link spider. Um, I'm still figuring out what these guys' purposes are. I think it's to make the firewall dragons a little bit easier. Um, like I said, I have to learn the combos and stuff because they're just so foreign to me at the moment. Uh, double Bahamut, double Toad, the Tomahawk to make all the tokens in the world, uh, the Gaios because uh, of another rank 7 option, and the, the Dweller. That's why you see this here because um, I was thinking about uh, going you know, for the Mander play. If I do end up cutting Osea, the Mander play <clears throat> could help go into... This card, which is a good going first card, but I don't think you need it when you have cards like Firewall. But Firewall does get burned uh, a lot of times during the opening combo, so I don't know how good of a first turn board that sets you up for. Uh, it, may, it mainly just sets up sets you up for Mulan in most cases uh, by exhausting like Firewall Dragon's effects and stuff to, to add stuff back, which like this card is just so good in this deck. Um, it's so good in probably lots of decks, but I think it really does a lot in Mermail. Um, like you get a lot of value out of it. Uh, then this card, I don't know. It's like a side slot. That's why it's in the side deck. Um, but speaking of like a real side deck, I have no idea what I'm going to put in there. Um, but yeah, the Osea, you know, you ditch like a Mander when you're summoning Megalo, and you ditch uh, Dragoons, and then... You summon this, then you summon a Lind and a Gund, or a Gund and or whatever else. Uh, and then use Manor and Grave, make them level 4, go for the Abyss, uh, Bahamut Shark play, summon a Toad. Uh, I just don't know how, like, worth it that is in some cases. Because, like, you can get this out pretty easy with, you know, this and this. Um, you get a search off of it, you get some value out of the play. Um... This, like, takes cards out of your deck that you don't want to take out. I don't know. That's why, like, this is a 1.0 build. We'll see how many .0s we get. Go all the way up to 9.0. I have no idea. Um, the Aqua Spirit, though, is very nice. I do like the card a lot. Um, no Synchros in this build, though. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I was thinking about at least, at least playing at least one Synchro. What Synchro that is, I don't know. I really don't. Maybe a Tatsunoko and something else. Maybe Trish, but Trish is just... I don't think Trish is that good right now, honestly. Because um, I don't know how good targeting is right now in general. Uh, but... <clears throat> I don't know. A Synchro in here would be nice, but like the extra deck looks kind of tight. I don't know what else I'd cut. Maybe the Link Spider. I've seen some builds playing a Link Spider in here just for extra materials, I guess. Um... Maybe cut the Dweller, but I think Dweller might be pretty good against some stuff. Um, like, I had to order a Galaxy Tomahawk. That's, like, how little cards I had. I had to order one of these things, and, like, this thing is, like, 50 cents. Um, I it, I probably have it somewhere, like I said, with, like, the Lind and stuff and the Sphere. That's probably somewhere. I just do not feel like searching through cards. Um, I have better stuff to do um, than look through a bunch of cards for hours. Um even though I actually like sold a bunch of bulk like last year in May, um, there's still a lot that I have to like search through. And I just ugh, don't want to. Um, but like this is the this is where we're at right now. Like in, by next week, I should have everything I need to like sit down, physically play a game, see where we're at with things, and I'm excited for that. I'm very very excited to like do some link shenanigans. I just want to link 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 link. And then drop this thing, and then this thing, and just kill everything. So, I'm excited. Hope you guys are. Oh, maybe I play Raigeki instead of this Ghost Ogre. Or maybe play a Raigeki instead of this Valor. Add in a second Ghost Ogre instead of this Valor. And just don't play Valor. I don't know. It's a tough decision. What do you guys think? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I hope you guys enjoyed this Fireside uh, open game state. Um... But yeah, let me know if you guys enjoyed. What are your thoughts down on the new list? Leave them in the comment section below. And uh, yeah, thank you for joining me during this episode of Open Game State. We'll see you in the next one.